So one of the most common questions is, can I do my own editing? You know, can I make little changes, little things like that? Um, so this is uh, to do with images. So I've just put some images in um, for the purpose of showing you the different places that you'll find the images. So um, I'm going to open Beaver Builder on the front. So this image is actually in a row setting. So the row setting is this blue line that's going all the way up to the top there. And he's right there in there. So we're going to click on this little row setting here. And it's nearly all the settings for users are on the first tab. The rest are usually for us as designers. So nearly everything you want is nearly always on the first tab. So we're on a style tab here. Um, scroll down and you can see the image there straight away. So if we remove it and select a different photo, uh, let's select that one. Now we can see that this photo is in the background there. Um, skip that one, we'll go down, we'll get that one. And then you can see it appearing in the back. So that is an image inside a row. Then as we come down, we've got images inside uh, what is called a column setting. So if I click on this, scroll down on the first tab, I'm gonna see that I've got my image uh, inside there. So I might wanna change it, for example, and come up and put in Afterpay. So that's changed, click on it. So the rule of thumb is if you wanna change it, click on it, there, and click on it, edit, Put this one in. So that's inside a column setting. So that's your column setting. That's a row setting. These are image modules. So they can be controlled size wise here. I decide I want it really big. So you can do your sizing in here. And if you want to change it, click on it. First tab again, replace. Select the photo that you want. Save. And there it is there and there it is there if you decided for example i want three zebras you've got a duplicate module tab there and you've also under the column settings you've got duplicate column so if you duplicate column it'll put it here but if you duplicate this it puts it underneath which is no good if you want it up here so what we're going to do is click on duplicate column like that. And then we might decide, for example, you wanted something else in there. So those are the three different ways that you're going to find um, images inside a row setting, inside a column, and inside an image module. This guy can get a bit tricky because there's a lot of different ways you can do it. You can actually, I'll do an example. If I go into column setting, Um, I might go to advanced and go 100 the whole way around. Actually, no, I'm not explaining it well. So this is a normal standard column. And then there's a column inside what we call a parent setting. So uh, column inside a parent setting. So that's a column. And then this is columns inside a column. So now, instead of having a standard column, which you'll see if you go to column settings, you only have a few. But if we go to this column setting now, you can see there's a line there, and we've now got a parent setting. So what we can do in the parent setting is add some colors. And then inside the top part, which is the main column setting, we can add, for example, a photo. and then come up here and adjust the height of that image like that. Now you might decide you want the parent setting uh, border to be a little bit bigger. So we'll go to parent setting, click on the advanced tab. We might do 50 padding top and well, the whole way around really. And then you're able to have column inside a column. So these ones can be a bit tricky to find because when you click on it, 
um, sometimes you don't know, it'll either, the image will either be in here. So if we did it the other way around, for example, we might do um, no photo, we'll do color. And then we might put in the parent setting an image. So these are the only tricky ones, but when designing websites for people who aren't overly confident, we tend not to use them. So let's put that in the background. So now you've got a photo in the background. Um, not the type of photo you would normally use for this kind of setup. Uh, let's go put it on. So you may be looking for this image in the back to change. Um, and that will be inside the parent setting. So the, the one going around the back. We try not to use these modules, they confuse people, but if you've got uh, a situation where you can see a line and you can see a parent setting, check your column settings on the first tab and then check your parent setting on the bottom one. But like I said, try not to, we try not to use those ones because people get a bit mucked up.